come to save the day. The Mighty House crew is on the job. This is Mighty House. All right, we're back. Final episode of our deck series here. Deck series. And we're going to show you how to put the lighting in, give you some ideas there. So uh, before we do that, make sure you uh, subscribe, click on the little dingly bell that goes right here, and uh, do that kind of stuff. So, yeah. all right. Crush it. Where do we start with this lighting stuff now, Rich? Simplest form. Easiest thing Post to caps. do. What's that? Post cap lights. Post caps. Hey, you can, you can find those at any of the big box stores. Uh, they're solar power. Online all over the yeah, place. Yep. You, just, you pull them out, you set them down, boom, done. They're, they're real easy to do. So yes. uh, I find those are real common and uh, fairly easy to install. They're pretty straightforward to, to do. Mm -hmm. um, and they come in a bunch of different styles. You can get them uh, metal or, or the white plastic so or brown. I actually have a set of those still in storage that are probably dry rotted now. <laughs> But they're post lights, but it's also a set of four speakers oh, and a really? subwoofer. Oh. So the lights are taller. Yeah. But they got the speakers built into them. And then, yeah, there's an outdoor subwoofer that you put under the deck. Oh, excellent. Wow. I thought wonderful. I would use that. Wow. Excellent. Yep. Haven't used it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a great rotting. idea. It's a great yes. idea. All right. So another real. <laughs> easy way to do this is you can do the post lights like this and mm -hmm. what do they look like at night their sonar hey they look like that hey they look nice yeah that's a and, and you, that's great for around stairs and and uh mm -hmm. areas where people are going to be have heavy traffic yeah any any right any heavy traffic area where you need some illumination correct but i do like those on the stairs they're nice looking. correct and then they also can kind of look like this right there oh so there you go these are really cool. Look at that. They're in the baluster themselves, and they've got them set up at right over Rich's shoulder there. So they got two on one, and then they got them spaced out so they're in a diamond pattern in each um, baluster the panels. Section, panel section. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. They light up. So that lights up. It's wired into the caps. That, uh, that makes for a really good look. Mm -hmm. That is a nice looking railing. Wait, and then? And then? Oh, riser lights, the riser lights, really common. Again, those are real easy to install. Also, uh, those mm -hmm. can be wired in from the back. So you run all your wires and, and as you're putting the, uh, the risers on, you're just cutting in the lights, wiring them up, pushing them in. So yep. it works really well. If you can get underneath this stair system, then you go ahead and put all your risers in and just drill them out, mount all the brackets yeah. with the wires hanging in and you just go on the backside and wire them all up. And you said there was no code for this either. So I could put as many lights or as few lights out there as I possibly can. I could put a little tea light candle, right. be done with it, walk away. Yep. That's really how much yep. ever I want to put in. That's it. And okay. if, you're, if you live really close to an airport, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want a 747 coming in, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a runway. <laughs> exactly. But on something like that where, I mean, I'm not doing the math. What do you got there? One, two, three... Riser to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven risers. Yeah. It's not a bad idea to illuminate that because that's a lot of steps. Yep. In the dark, you know, so yep. not yep. bad. Yep. So that, that's, a, that's a good look there, too. And then you mm -hmm. can also do an under Strip rail. lights, yes. Yeah. So. It's a lot of LED tape light available now, color changing, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it's crazy. But what's even nicer is that there's all kinds of aluminum channels that you can plow into any of your woodwork. Mm -hmm. And then they put lenses on there so that you don't get the LED spotlights. Right. It diffuses you know, it's it. like a little white diffuser. So yep. it gives you that type of glow. So again, a little more money, keep jacking it up, you know, but it does give you a much nicer finish. And that's a clean look, especially if you've got the cables. Then that yeah, I mean, is contemporary and then it, it's it's all down lighting too. So that's never going to be in your eyes. Nothing's going to be shining mm -hmm. and, and harsh and uh, and catching your eye, but it is going to illuminate everything and make it really soft and, uh, and, and uh, inviting. Unless you're that particular Azalea that's all lit up there because you'll never get to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so that poor little plant. <laughs> there's a last one here. I, I'm not too keen on these. These these are just pointing up but if you do I this think... in a stair area 
as you walk across them, you could get blinded by these or I just, I just don't see those. I just think the puck lights were sort of the first thing. Right. You know what I mean? Like that was what came out first. And then from there, it kind of advanced. So that's kind of a little more old school that, you know, but it's, it's still inexpensive. You can still buy them. Right. You know, we do them in, we do them in driveways a lot. Oh, really? You know, yeah. To, to light up the driveway and then, but you got to use a different, you know, unit because it's got to be drive. You got to be able to drive over it. Right. right. So right. different rating. Now, yeah. They're not bad. If this was in the riser, you know, maybe it's a little better. It, it might, might be a better way to. Well, oh, that's it. That's the, that's the puck light evolution. It started yeah. in the pool yeah. and it finally came up to your deck uh -huh. and then it'll go out right. your driveway. <laughs> Before you know it, it's, it's on your car. Well, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, they are. On, yeah, they are. On yeah. The well, that's one of the jokes we always have is like our old pool. Um, we have what looks like a, a Chevy truck headlight uh -huh. in the end of the pool with yep. the glass dome on it, you know, and you turn a light on it. It's like, holy cow, pool's lit. Right. Uh, but now we just use these little tiny LEDs. They're not even an inch in diameter. So an average pool gets two in a pool, one in a spot, and the whole thing is wow. bright as can be. Yep. Nicely so illuminated. It, LED technology is changing how we illuminate everything. Yes, yes. And Including me. <laughs> <laughs> and the color of it, you can change the colors a lot easier. So if you went mm -hmm. back to that one where, the under, where it was plowed into the rail, you could have that changing to blue, to red, to green. You right. could have pick any color you want in that. And if you buy that LED, because there are some that are not, but there are some that are color changeable. So... Brings us to me to the next question, Mr. Yeah. Sparky. Yeah. How do I control these? What do I use to power them and control them? Oh, we forgot one. <laughs> That's I try to. You asked me about those. Those look like Christmas lights out of season. And, and I believe they're called fairy lights. We weren't sure. So I don't know. And Sonar, we'll, I don't know. we'll, we'll give you the... the in the phone. Navy, we, we called them um, up and overs. Up and overs? Yeah. Okay, so there. Whatever you, you want to call them. You want to call them Christmas lights out of season. You can call them fairy mm -hmm. lights. Or you can call them up and overs. Yeah. Uh, but that's another option. And those generally are 110 and just get plugged into the wall. And mm -hmm. uh, you can put them on a And I'm not going to lie. Actually, if you've got like there where it's kind of wooded and light and all that, it doesn't look bad. Yeah. But it's, uh, that's also a softer light. It's, it's not a. Yeah. It's not a. So it doesn't really light. look bad. Right. So how are we going to power these? That, I think that was your question, right, Rich? Yes. How do I want to control all of these crazy lighting things I have going so on? So most of them are going to be off of a transformer or something like this. So you're gonna plug them into an outlet and that transformer and then out of the transformer, you're gonna run the wires and go out to every light fixture. And, and that's that, how you're gonna- But that only up. has one wire coming out of it and it's plugged into the outlet. Yeah, this one goes here, but they have not wired in the bunch of wires that come up and then tie in all the- Or did the they run them through the house? They thought ahead. Yeah. Then they didn't think far yeah. enough ahead to put this inside the house. <laughs> or, or the plug. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't know. hooked any lights up to this. That's what I'm thinking. Because right. to, to see that. that wad of lights coming out and going in the ground or the wires coming through there, uh, that's probably that's, well, that's not I, as good of a look. And I do see that they are using a in-use bubble cover. Yes. This is the correct weatherproof cover for your outlet today, too. Hate those things. Yes. I, I, I don't. I think everybody them. hates them. Yes. Nobody likes them. And, and what... Just the electrical inspector likes them. Right. <laughs> And, and what are they um, transforming it into? Uh, are they DC. using DC, 12 yep. volts, 12 24? Volt DC. Okay. So, and most of them are 12. I mean, you might find a lighting system if you've got a larger lighting system mm -hmm. that you might want to go to 24 volt. And that way you're getting, if you've got some longer runs, you might need to do something like that. Okay. Um, they also make these in an accordion style where they, 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 yep. they lay flat. And then as you, if you're going to yeah. use them, then they, you, they like accordion out and then you can plug them in and still close them. Gotcha. And that's um, what I use on my high-end homes. Right. Because most of the time there's never anything plugged into them, and people just hate those. Yes. It's not bad for an outlet there on the wall in the side of your house. If it's in but use outdoor all the time. kit, I know, but outdoor kitchens and all that, you got to have these big old bubble covers. You yep. know, you got this beautiful granite backsplash and uh -huh. that <laughs> mounted on it. <laughs> and a bubble cover on it. And a bubble cover, so. So uh, you can do a transformer like this and plug it in, and then you just flip the switch, that outlet turns on mm -hmm. and off you go. You can have a timer on it inside with your, if you've got smart home, uh, the Lutron mm -hmm. system, you could wire it up like that yeah. with it. They and also, that's how mine are controlled. I love the Lutron because I can, all my outside lights come on 20 minutes after sunset. Yep. 
sunset changes every day by seven and a half, eight minutes, right? So I don't have to mess with the clock. Yep. It goes by the internet. Every 20 minutes after sunset, my lights turn on. Right. My front porch lights, I don't like to drive the neighbors nuts, so those turn off at 11. Okay. Driveway lights stay on all night, but I cut them to 50%. So you set all those scenes. Yeah. So yeah, the Lutron Outlet stuff is it's awesome. Slick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you can also just, if you have a transformer, you can just get one of these that right mm -hmm. here you set to the time of day, and then you set your on and off right there when you want it to come on, go off. And you can have mm -hmm. it go on and off three or four times a day if you want. You just need more of these little uh, trip Pins, switches yeah. to, that go in. So that dial around the outside just spins and it goes clockwise like that. There you go. There we go. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you just have Trips trip. the little levers and it's just a cheap analog. I mean, you could probably pick those up for what, 30 bucks now? Yeah. They're, I'd they're, say 20, but they're probably going up like everything else. Sure. Yeah. So those are fairly simple to do. And it, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's what's running the back, the lights in the back of my house. So right. um, it works absolutely fine. If it ain't fun. broke, don't fix it. That's right. That's right. So if you don't want to have to go through all this, run all the wires and do all that stuff, they, they do make a lot of, all the lights we've shown you pretty much, you can get in a solar option. So you get two little uh, solar panels on this, this stair light fixture. It's got a little battery in it and you've got your LED lights. As soon as it gets dark, it, it automatically comes on and then the battery runs out or it becomes daylight and then it will turn off and start recharging. But if you've got a lot of shaded areas, and, and you don't have a lot of sun, these are not gonna work very right. well. So then no. you can- And I've had, most of the solar stuff that we've used for landscape lighting, um, it doesn't seem like the solar cells go bad. I think it's the batteries inside go bad. Yes, they do. And so, and they just don't last very long. So they're nope. not, to me, not worth the money yet. There's still a lot of things to work out. And then as you said, you might be able to use five of those, but then the other four you need are gonna be in the shade too long, so you can't use them. Right, so then, you might want to use a kit like this. So there you get a solar panel, it's got a built-in battery system, and now you're back to wires again, but this is all wired in, you don't have a transformer, and this will go on uh, dawn to dusk, and, and it'll, mm -hmm. it'll automatically turn on and turn off for you. So you can program yeah, that. Yeah, and that's so. gonna be more money than the other stuff, but right. to me that's still the better way to go because it's gonna have a single larger battery, Yep. and you know if you gotta replace it, you just got the one. Correct. Because the LED bulbs in those lamps don't, they last a long time. Right. The solar panel lasts a long time. It just always comes down to the battery technology. Correct. Correct. So that's, a, that's, that's the last thing really, you know, it's a good option. Uh, they make these in spotlights and all kinds of stuff you can buy with the solar panel with the, the battery in it. And a lot of those mm -hmm. larger ones just have a, the same thing that you would find in your alarm panel, the same kind of battery in there. So, and you can right. pick those batteries up at your... Uh, hardware store, so they're fairly simple yep. to do. So there's how you would power them up and, and get a couple options there. So just a couple ideas on how to light your deck and, and to put it together. So hopefully you found this whole series interesting and mm -hmm. we're gonna have to come up with some new topics now, Rich. Yeah, I know, that's fine, we'll, we'll do that. <laughs> Plus, we're going to a builder's show in February, so yes. we'll get some, you know, do some interviews and find some new products to talk about, but um, yeah, no, it's just been a good series. And yep. if you have any questions about planning or building your deck and all that, then yeah, right, right there. Right down there. Leave so you oh, own it. Yep. You can also and do. if you uh, haven't, please subscribe to the channel and click on that little alert thing and like us and all that fun you stuff. Yeah, all that social media stuff that we're trying to do. That's right. There you go. So, all right. With that, until next time, keep, keep it, square. it square and level. Oh. Keep it square and level. See? I think that works better that way. I don't know. I think so. I think so. We get t-shirts like that. Just keep oh, it, yeah. Keep, keep it square and level. Yeah. Until next time. <laughs> <laughs> keep it square and level on the front until next time on the back. back. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs>